Personalization is the key to a successful automation campaign. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and use personalized placeholders that will help you stand out in the inbox. After watching this video, you will be able to import contacts from a CSV and create dynamic placeholders in a few simple steps. Hey, I'm Sharon from Expandi, the world's safest cloud-based platform for doing automated LinkedIn outreach without getting noticed or banned. If you wish to turn your LinkedIn into a lead generated tool, be sure to subscribe for our weekly growth hacking tips and tricks and hit the bell so you won't miss the next episode. Let's be honest, achieving a quality network on LinkedIn with relevant connections is really hard nowadays. The solution to this problem is leveraging the benefits of automations while using very personalized placeholders. In today's video, I will explain how to import contacts from CSV in super quick and easy steps along with the creation of dynamic placeholders. This video is very important if you want to send personalized messages on LinkedIn to get more connections. Let's dive into it right away. Let's start our video by seeing how you can import contacts from a CSV. The first thing you can do is import contacts from a CSV. You should keep in mind that your CSV file cannot be bigger than one megabyte and depending on the numbers of columns you have, this will be approximately 2,500 people. Just follow this tutorial to see how this can be done within Expandi. The first step is to log in in your Expandi account. Click on search and click then on creating a new search. Choose the option import contacts from a CSV file and enter any search name. After you did that, you can browse the file with people. Make sure that the file is a CSV file, of course. Uh, make sure that the columns are all separated and make sure that you have at least the LinkedIn profile URLs from the people that you would like to outreach to in there. Um, as soon as you have everything, you can open the CSV file and it will look like this. The first step of completing the search is actually mapping the fields. So this is the profile link URL. I have called it LinkedIn account. Um, and you can just say, okay, this is actually the profile link URL from the people. This is indeed the first name and I would like to keep it as the first name. And this is the last name. So I've only entered these three fields, but of course, if you have a CSV file with many more fields, so many more values, you can put all of them in and you can decide for yourself what it is exactly and how you would like to continue with it. As soon as you have entered every field, you can actually process the CSV file and it will upload over here and it will prepare the whole search. As soon as the search is done, this preparing field will be gone and you will see the results showing up like this. You can also manually add a placeholder into Expandi if you wish. I will now show you how this can be done in Expandi. Once you add the placeholder into Expandi, you can then use these in your campaign messages. Just watch how I did it. So how to add placeholders. The first step is to click on the placeholders over here. Then click on edit placeholder names and over here you can enter any specific placeholder that you would like to use in the messages. Uh, so for example, location, I would like to use as a placeholder in the messages and just fill in the location and then create the placeholder. There will be a new placeholder created over here, which you can edit and delete at any time. And in the background, the location appeared right away over here with all kinds of fields below, which you can actually fill in for the people that you have uh, searched for. So for the location of Arca, for example, I can say it's America. And this is a little bit of manual work. You can fill it in over here for all the people to use exactly this locations placeholder in the messages. Afterwards, when you're done creating the messages, it's important to have an overview of the personal message. This verification will allow you to remove mistakes or unnecessary details. And this is how you can make a dynamic placeholder. Uh, for the dynamic placeholders, it's a little bit different because within the campaigns, let me just open a campaign. You can go to the steps and then over here you can use the normal placeholders. And then here you have the dynamic placeholder, which I've just shown. So if you would like to use the dynamic placeholder, you can just use the message field. 
then click on the dynamic placeholder and here you can select any of the placeholders that you've created so for example the location that we have just created and here you can actually type a message which contains the location placeholder in it so you can type for example hey saw you're from and then the location so it will instead of keeping the location it will um, appear as America then below this one you can actually type a message without the placeholder so if it's not able to find a placeholder or if you forgot to fill in the placeholder for one specific person you can just type a message over here which will say then for example where are you from so you will always send a nice message if you add the dynamic placeholder into the specific body where you will write the messages it will appear like this and it will just take the either or message depending on if the uh, software was able to find the dynamic placeholder or not and that's it this will boost your profile and you can send a personalized message on linkedin to get more connections and that brings us to the end of this video now before you click off we have one last surprise and i hope you enjoy gifts just click the links in the description below to get a 7 day free trial of Expandly. In our next video we will be dropping many more super cool tips and tricks you can always trust to get loads more leads and connections on LinkedIn.